Well, it's good to speak with you again, Chuck. Um, today, uh, I look forward to hearing your views on uh, what you call a paradigm shift, which is a moving from an individualistic uh, segments in supply chain to a more holistic, collaborative supply chains. Can you start by providing a brief background of yourself? Yes, I uh, have been with in logistics my entire career, starting with the Schwinn Bicycle Company in Chicago for 12 years and moving on to uh, the General Binding Corporation in Northbrook, doing logistics all of this time, and then going on to Troy built a large rototiller company in upstate New York, also in materials purchasing supply chain. Then eventually I got into consulting with a company, split from them, and started my own business in western Michigan in supply chain, purchasing, logistics, third-party logistics, and um, have done all the theory and practice of all of it. So now I'm con currently conducting consulting for a company in San Francisco doing cold supply chain, frozen food uh, supply chain logistics. And uh, it's a redistribution system. And this demand-driven logistics or this paradigm shift we're talking about going from individualistic segments to holistic collaboration uh, really helps a uh, cold supply chain redistribution system, Dustin. Thank you. Can you talk more about what is demand-driven logistics? Uh, yes, I can. It's it's going really from individual segments, as you indicated, a paradigm shift from a reactive approach to a more proactive approach. It empowers shippers to drive collaboration across different functional areas where you engage your customers, suppliers, and third provider intermediaries more closely and broadly drive out costs and efficiencies within their supply chains. We're talking about controlling decision-making and dictating actions downstream so that the suppliers, the 3PL, and the customer all work together and gain this visibility through systems and control their inventories and costs. I think the uh, first pain point is that Controlling inventories is very important, and costs are important. So with this system, you can control inventories and costs. Can you talk about why is uh, demand-driven logistics important? It's important because the customer then gets their needs filled through what is called a pull system. It's really the customer who pulls the inventory from the supplier and the third-party logistics and gets their inventory when they need it and they don't have to have the volume of inventory they had in the past because a lot of demand-driven logistics has to do with uh, using your tools like a transportation management system, TMS, uh, WMS, and warehouse management system, using these tools and purchase order tools to properly get the right amounts of inventory to the customer, driving down inventory costs, time, and uh, all the efforts that were used for additional inventory. You can do this by looking at consolidations. In the past, most shippers decided that they had to fill a container full of goods in order to get the best rate for a container. The best rate for a container is a full container, which is logical. But using this demand-driven logistics, you can partially fill containers and have a consolidated container. Even when I was with Schwinn many years ago in Chicago, Illinois, we had suppliers all over France that had smaller amounts we gathered all these individual suppliers all over France into the shipping point, put them all together into a container, and shipped them to Schwinn, each one being a smaller amount of inventory than each supplier having to fill their own container. So it's a consolidated container. 
The same works for domestic transportation. If you have a truckload, that's the best thing to do to get the best rate, but you can pool your inventory and consolidate it with other customers and ship smaller amounts so that your customer gets and the whole supply chain gets reduced total inventory, therefore reduced costs. It's driven and demanded by the customer and pulled by the customer to reduce inventory. And uh, who can benefit? Every member of your supply chain benefits in that the supplier knows exactly what the customer wants. The third-party logistics provider knows what the supplier should ship to them, and they can pool to the customer. So you have a complete demand-driven system, totally integrated and holistic in that total collaboration uh, works. They all work together to see and orchestrate the supply chain for all of their benefits. Any customer who does logistic shipping and importing or domestic shipping can benefit from demand-driven logistics because it's a paradigm shift from individual departmental supply chains to a holistic approach. We're not talking about generalities. We're talking about specifics using specific transportation management system, purchase order, IT systems, and uh, general IT systems to help visibility to see what shippers are doing all along the holistic supply chain. All functions are reacted to the man in real time together. How can companies get started? Dustin? Oh, yes. Um, how can companies get started with demand-driven logistics? I, I'm getting bad. I can't hear you. Um, can, uh, can you hear me now? Just barely, Dustin. I'm sorry. Oh, I can hear you pretty well. Um, how can companies get started with uh, demand-driven logistics? The way to get started is to meet, work together, and have a conglomerate discussion on how the uh, suppliers work with the third-party logistics company and the customer as a group working together and meeting their goals. So it's going to take working downstream from the origin to the 3PL to the customer working together. That's how to get started, to understand goals and objectives, to understand the tools that are necessary to control their inventories and costs, and eventually get to continuous improvement and a lean supply chain. It's everybody having the same goals. That means initial contact, communication, and setting up goals, creating the paradigm shift from a reactive supply chain to a holistic supply chain through communication. And thanks, Chuck, for sharing your innovative views on uh, demand-driven logistics and uh, the paradigm shift uh, in supply chains. Thank you, Dustin. I appreciate the phone call.